Hey everybody, it's Mama J, and we're back with, I believe, our fourth edition of comic book staying or going. All right, we got another pile here we're going to go through and check out. First one on the pile is actually a pretty awesome cover, but I'm not going to keep it. And this one is Wolverine. I mean, the cover's okay. It's not one of my favorites, so I am not going to be keeping that one. Uh, next one here is definitely a keeper. This is from 89. This is a reprint, but this is Motley Crue. So it's pretty awesome. Also here, I'm not really impressed with this cover, but I will be keeping it because of who it is. It's a 1980, and because of what it is, it's a 1989 first printing of a rock and roll comic, and this is Bon Jovi, and I think that picture is just awful. <laughs> if you want my opinion, I think that picture is just awful. Uh, anyways, ooh, this one is definitely a keeper, Dark Knight's Death Metal. This cover is fire. I really like the way this, look at the word metal and how it's done. I really like this cover. That's a pretty awesome cover. Uh, next one, definitely keeping. This is Phantom Obsession. This is number two, another variant cover. And this is Kiss. Someday I may have room where I can just hang them all up on the wall. I got a bunch of prints on that wall that I've bought from different people. Maybe eventually somewhere. Getting something, or even like I know that I've seen like little bars where you can just stack the comics like that or something so you can flip them out. I do have some slabs. I think they're all Wonder Woman and I have a Wolverine and I have a Spider-Man one, but that one's not going to be staying either. Eventually it'll make one of these piles. But this one here is number four. This is Kiss the End. Definitely a keeper. That cover right there, though, is nice. Look at it. Love it. So that's a definite keeper. Ooh, another one here of Kiss, Phantom Obsession. This is number one. I really like this cover, too. So they each have a candle. Um, I'm 100%. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking this is a cover on an album, too, if I remember correctly. You know, and I know you're probably sitting there thinking, well, you should know. Well, let me tell you. You know how many albums I've looked at? Do you know how many things I've looked at? And, you know, I can't remember everything. Anyways, <laughs> the next one here is, um, this one is Immortal X-Men. Um, it's a cool cover, but it's not a keeper for me. So it's pretty nice. Oh, look, it even has a price tag on it from one, from wherever. I believe this one was in one of the mystery boxes I got off of Whatnot during my Whatnot addiction. This is an 89 first print. This cover is pretty awesome. This is Def Leppard. I do like this cover. That's pretty nice. This one, you know, I'm going to keep it. It's an 89 first print because it is considered a rock and roll comic. I don't know if Christina Payne is looking but or watching, but it is a New Kids on the Block cover. She may already have it. I don't even know. I know that, you know, she spends some time in the comic book world. This cover here is also another nice cover. And it's number five, and it is a Kiss Phantom Obsession cover. That's definitely a keeper. Look at Jean, man. Wow. Okay, next one here. I really dig this one. This is a rare sketch variant. All right, so this one is a Kiss number two rare sketch variant cover. This cover is actually pretty fire. I like this cover a lot. Obviously staying because it's Kiss. Uh, let's see what the next one here we got. This is a number one Suicide Squad with Harley and I don't remember his name, but the shark. Um, does any have a name from Suicide Squad or something? I'm pretty sure he has a name. I could be wrong. I don't know. You know, I'm not really into the whole Batman side. Um, but this one here, I believe, was just over $20 last time I checked. The Harley covers are usually got a nice value to them. Uh, this next one here is a Harley Quinn cover also. This is a different variant of a cover. And this one, I believe, was just under 20 For me, this one's a little different. I'm used to, I know, you know, but I'm used to Harley being more of a blonde. Uh, last one we have here will not be a keeper for us. I'm pretty sure I got this in a mystery box too, like that other one's there. And uh, this one here is Immortal X-Men number two. 
but I won't be keeping this one either. So out of all these ones, we did keep a bigger stack. We ended up keeping, we ended up keeping 10 of them like we did in the first one that will go in the keeper pile. Again, let me know down below out of the ones we showed off, which ones did you like the best? Anyways, don't forget that comic can get you entered a giveaway. You can win some comics, right? That comic can get you in to win some comics. <laughs> and don't forget, stick around, check out my Patreon. They get something every month. So make sure if you're interested and you want to help support the channel, go ahead and follow the Patreon down below. If you're at the $5 tier or higher, you get entered in multiple giveaways and a lot of Patreon only giveaways. If you are at the $1 Patreon, you'll get something every few months and you are entered in certain giveaways. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.